I could eat. Ah, I see you found the barn. This is it? I went looking for it, but I, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Remember the time I milked Bessie and she kicked over the milk bucket? I hid in the barn because I thought you would be mad. <laughs> no use crying over spilled milk. Or a barn that got blown down in a storm, I suppose. I had to give up keeping cattle. So does that mean this is... Yeah, the chicken coop. Well, after Merlin passed, I didn't have a dog to guard the chickens, and they kept getting picked off. I chopped up the coop for firewood. Oh, that's a shame. Do you think we could restore them? Well, I'm sure we could, but after that old ranch closed up, the nearest place to get more animals is miles away. Uh, if Mayor Otto would bestir himself to do something about that, then fixing up these buildings would be light work for Parker. Have you been to Violet's flower shop yet? I try to support her business as much as I can. Her dad got a job off island, and I know he sends money home and all, but it's gotta be tough taking care of her brother all on her own. Should only take a day or so. through the tricky bits. This here will explain the extra bits you need. Once you have them, go and write it at your newly made desk. Technically, this isn't an incantation. This is just a piece of paper with some mumbo jumbo on it. Well, then what's the difference? When you go home and write this on your freshly pressed paper, hold the offering in the other hand. 
That's your thistle. You must concentrate on every word as you write it. You'll know it's working if, as you finish, the offering has vanished and you feel some of your magic is drained away. Then, the page you've created will be an incantation. You should take it to the High Priestess when it's ready. What does this incantation do? That's not for me to discuss. Good job! You've made your first incantation. Usually you can just cast your incantations any time you please. But for this one, you'll need the whole coven. Now take this over to the High Priestess. She'll tell you what to do. Have you the incantation for the initiation rite? Yes, it's ready. Good. Initiate Terra, give the incantation to Elder Hazel. She must be the one to cast it. Here's the initiation incantation, Grandma. Honeybee, before we get started, I have a gift for you. This has been in our family for generations, and it is our custom to pass it on at the time of initiation. Go ahead. Try them on. Oh, like all before you, they fit you beautifully. Oh, I feel... taller. <laughs> yeah. That was done during my Aunt Vivian's time. She was a bit on the short side and wanted to appear more regal so she spelled the robes then the other witches got jealous and we might be magical but we're still human elder hazel initiate Terra. take your places for the right initiate you seek new knowledge but with it comes a sacred duty who brings forth this initiate to join our coven i do as the great wheel turns so must we take our part here where our ancestors stood before us, and where others will follow. Enter our circle, for this is the hour. A fair haven witch comes into her power. Oh, I feel... weird? But... But in a good way. You are ready. Return tomorrow and we will continue your training. <laughs> 